You want some of this? Giant crab? Oh, am I getting you? Okay. Yeah, that's right. You're terrified of me. Ah, turn around, dude. The oh, he's getting me. Whoa. What is up the world? My knife's angles are so angular. Whoa, what happened? It's your friendly neighborhood slip gator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Back with some Stranded Deep. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your support of the previous Stranded Deep video. I appreciate it oh so very much. It feels so good to be back. And I'm glad that you guys are liking it. I have news. Ladies and gentlemen, there was an issue with the save file. We have had save file issues. And... We have had to start over, but it's not a big deal, man. It's not a big deal. We're going to get it done. Don't you friggin' worry, man. It's all good. So yeah, welcome back. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you like this video, don't forget to show your support. Smash that thumbs up button. If you're new and you haven't already, subscribe for more. And because we have had a terrible save disaster, we have to start again. Now, there was a little bit of progress that we're going to lose because of this, but that's okay because it means we get to do it all over again in a better way. Well, let's be honest. That's just bull crap. We're not going to be able to do it in a better way because we did it in the best way possible to start off with. There's nothing we could possibly do better. So we're just going to have to go ahead and make a little bit of work happen. Uh, I would really like these tires right now, but I feel like maybe there's a humongous shark here. Uh, is he very aggressive shark? I don't know. Let's throw these guys over our heads. So you guys, what we're going to do in order to make up for the terrible disaster is I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to fast forward a little bit here, peeps. Whoa. Dude, that was weird. We're going to fast forward a little bit. We're going to get a bunch of stuff and things done. And right about at the time where we were at the same area that we were before, we will continue our adventures. <laughs> And we are back. Oh my God. Healthy, ladies and gentlemen. We're healthy. I don't know if you noticed there for a second. We had a little bit of a problem. Right over here, there's something that I stepped on that poisoned me. Uh, and now with the new... There it is right there. Now with the new stat system, you can't make antidote until your craftsmanship, I do believe, is level three. And so I had to craft up a few regular spears and some spears. I made some lashings. I built a bunch of stuff. To try to level it up. I finally got there. And now we are healthy. Our SPFs are going down. But other than that, we are doing pretty good. That boat's explored. That boat's explored. That wreck's explored. That one is explored over there. Uh, we have our solar still. Our campfire. A bunch of stuff has all been figured out. Now, we need to move forward. We must progress. So a house, I think, is something that we're going to be working on right away. But then also over here... We have to check out this last wreck right there. Oh, there's a, there's a deal over that way, too. We're going to have to go over to another beach, too, or another island at some point because we don't have a lot of stones on this island. It's pretty rare. Uh, pretty rare deal. Uh, we don't have a lot of those guys. And in order to make... Uh, where is that guy? The refined pick, we need two leather. 
Leather is quite hard to make. We're going to have to get a tanning rack. And then there's no boars on our island either. So we would have to kill a shark uh, in order to do that. And that's going to be kind of tough. I think that's the only thing we can do in order to get those deals. But we have this shipwreck to check out. I figured we'd pop over here. Looks like there's a crate right there. And then I'm guessing also, dude, it gets deep. Barrels right here. We got a little bit of breath. Let's go in. Another crate. A label maker. Engine part deal. Let's go team. Spear, plank, torch. And inside of this guy, there's nothing. I want to be a little bit careful. I actually got stuck in one of the other boats and I died in that stupid boat over there. So stupid and dumb. Uh, looks like there's a baby shark right there. Our physical just went up. So yeah, we're about at the same place that we were when we stopped or when I lost my save game deal. Uh, and so now we're good to go. Storm's coming in. I got three tires and three barrels to get to shore. I got to do this thing and it's going to make you guys puke. So I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> oh God. Oh, come on tires. There's got to be a better way beam team. Good morning. What a beautiful morning it is. Back on our island, deforesting it like any good human would. All right, let's go ahead and grab, speaking of wood, let's grab our wood. Uh, I started working on our actual house area here, and I'm getting quite a bit of progress done. I have a little bit of wood saved up and uh, a little bit of a plan to make this thing look pretty cool. So we're going to try to go ahead and start making this happen over here. Uh, I'm also keeping a keen eye on the durability of my axe. Uh, this base that we have here, again, we have two stones left. I have one leather right there. So when this guy gets low, I could probably pop down here and make it into a refined axe. Um, although, wait, that refined axe is going to take two more stone in order to make another knife. Wait, those knives are two stone or one stone? How many stone are those little knives? One? They're just one. Uh, so it'll just take one more stone. But it's better than having to make an entirely new axe. Also, you know what would be great? A uh, display somewhere on the screen that tells you the durability of your tools. So every time you do something, you don't have to go like that over and over. Uh, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll figure it out eventually. Let's go ahead and grab these two guys right here. All right. So we got a little bit of stuff and things. Water, we're doing good. Food, we're doing good. I managed not to get poisoned through the night, which was amazing. Got to get a couple more guys inside of there. And our piles. You guys, these piles. I got to tell you, man, we got some pretty good, pretty good, friggin' pretty good piles going on here. So here's what we're going to do. Well, actually, we can do it from right from there. The first thing we need is a doorway deal right over here like so. so. Let's pop that guy down. A physical level up. That's amazing. What's our physical at now? Several ticks. All right, very good. So the only thing I feel like I'm really lacking here, you know, Stranded on a desert island, not surrounded by people. You'd think, hey, I hate people. This is the perfect gift that I could ever receive. It's just to be stranded on this desert island all by myself. Well, I actually miss people. I feel like I need something. I need some sort of companionship, some sort of a friend. And so as we continue our adventures here in Stranded Deep, we will absolutely be keeping our eyes peeled for some sort of amazing friendo. We definitely need that in our lives. All right, so we're going to take and put a full wall over here. Or should I do another window? Dude, I really don't like the full walls. I feel like the windows are where it's at. But what we kind of need sometimes is maybe, especially if we have friends, a little bit of privacy uh, and a little bit of a wall to put some stuff and things on. You know what I mean? Maybe to hang some stuff. So uh, I'm kind of going with an odd shape here for this. And it's going to be a little bit weird to try to make this work. But I'm going to see how it goes. Um, goodbye the hammer. Hello, new hammer. So we'll pop that guy over there like that. I'm going to leave this side here open. And then out here, what I actually want is the ability to walk out onto another a deck. So I want to put three more foundations down. Uh, eventually, eventually. So what we need are two more walls over there. Of course, the rain's coming in. I guess that's better for our SPF, so I'll take it. Uh, let's go ahead and do another windowed wall over here. Maybe straight across. Like that, we'll add one of those guys right over in this area. Uh, perfect. And then, like I said, over here we're gonna need we're gonna need to have a doorway. I think we'll have a doorway there, and then maybe a wall, a windowed wall there, and maybe a half wall there. Let's see how that works out for us. Let's go ahead and grab another uh, window deal, like so. We'll put that up over here, right here, like that, so we can have a nice view of the island. Look at that beautiful island over there. And then let's pop over here. Grab one of these guys and we'll go half wall. You know what I could do? 
might be a little bit easier just to grab all of our sticks and put them in our inventory. And then that way, we don't have to walk around and grab sticks all the time. How many more can we fit? Oh, I'm a stick holding machine. Dude, I got all the sticks. All right, sweet. So now we can just go to it. So what we want to do over here is go uh, half wall there. Doorway here. No door. Uh, over here, should we do another half wall deal? So we can kind of see outside. I feel like that's a good idea. Let's put a half wall right over here. Here's our doorway, I think. And then this guy right over here, our little half wall deal. Now, the next order of business. This is gonna be a little bit tricky, I think. So what I wanna do now is go ahead and get some hot roof action going. And we pop up here like this and then we E that around. Yeah, or Q it around, pardon me. Spin it in the proper direction. There's that guy. Now, can I fit one of those? I wish it had like last in there. Oh, uh, oh, oh, it is going to work. Hold on, right here like this. Bam, like so. Very, very nice. Now, we might end up taking these down eventually so we can have a second story. But I don't know. I think I might just leave this the way that it is right here like that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one of these guys. flippity doo da that guy around over here. And we don't really need walls to keep us, like, warmer or anything like that. Just the, the roofs, really, so that we can keep us out of the sun. Look at that, man. This is looking great. All right, that guy's done. How many sticks do I have? Just four more. So we can maybe now add one of our foundations right out here. Should we face it the other direction? Like so, so it has a little bit of texturized. Maybe look a little bit cooler. It probably would have looked just as good the other way, but it is what it is. So I'm thinking we're going to add three of these out here so we can have a little bit of a deck area. Then we might actually even put a stairway that goes down into the water. That might be nice. So then over here, what would be cool? Dude, I swear to God, I had a lamp here somewhere and I can't remember where I put it. And now I can't find it. I don't know where it went. But here's what I want to do. Do we have it over here? There's the torches here. I could have sworn I found a lamp somewhere. It's gone. All right. So, well, eventually we can put a hook up there when we get a lamp. So we can kind of light our way back to our base. And we can see it pretty far offshore too. So it'll be really, really good. Let's check inside of our containers. There's our balls. I think these are all empty. Nope. Oh, couple of things, but still no lamp. I swear to God, I found one. I don't know where I put it. Do I have it up over here somewhere? Maybe I dreamed it. All right, so let's go ahead and drop one of our sticks. We're running a little bit of low on supplies. Let's pop this guy over here. Like that. And then we can go over here and put our torch down. Another torch. I wish there was a way we could do something with these. The label makers are great because we can actually uh, name our friends when we find them. And then these guys... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this. Oh, there we can zoom in. Oh my God, that's so neat. Yoink, there's another island right there. Yoink, and there's, I think, the closest island. There's a, a shipwreck over there, uh, far in that direction. I think that's the island we might head to first. So let's go ahead and put these away. They're not necessarily super useful. I wish there was a way you could use the spyglass to start a fire. I think that'd be really smart. Um, so building for right now is pretty much done. We've built a little bit of a deal. It is kind of in the middle of the day. Oh, all of our saplings came back for some more fibrous leaves. I feel like these respawn a lot faster than they used to. I'm pretty sure they do, in fact. Was that just three? Or we can make one more lashing and pop that guy over there. All right, let's check our axe real quick again and just see the durability. 27%. So like I said, I want to make that refined axe. Oh, you know what? We don't have any more sticks, do we? I could make a roof on that piece, and we definitely should do that. We'll have a little roof up there as well. But I think it might be time. I don't know if daytime is the best time to do that. Uh, yep. You know what? It is going to be. Uh, we are running out of stones. Uh, we have two left right there. I can make one more of these little itty bitty knives. And we can use that until it runs low on durability as well. I do believe those used to be uh, infinite. They used to not have a durability stat, but now they do. So we got to be a little bit careful about that. Our yucca has not respawned yet. Uh, I'm assuming our fruits haven't respawned. They normally take like weeks uh, or something like that. <laughs> they take a super stupid amount of time to come back. Oh, hello, Randy Coconut. How's my statistic? Yeah, let's go ahead and have a drink and eat some coconut deal. I kind of don't want to make the passage right now, but that's what I need to do. I need to make a passage very soon to head over to that other island in order to get more materials. We're very low on stones. We are... <laughs> Not low on wood, but I don't want to have to deforest my whole island. But if we head out there right now, it could be bad. 
we could have an SPF problem. Uh, and there's no way for me to add any sort of, uh, any sort of, uh, fire or sun protection to the raft that I have there. It's not going to work out. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for it. Uh, I'm just going to try to see if we can make it happen. Let's go ahead and get out into the water here, raft. You and me. We get up on top. Grab that guy. Uh, operate. Uh, all right. We got to head over this direction. The SPFs are going to be bad. Once we get there, we're probably going to end up hanging out under some trees. Oh, but it feels good to be back on the water. You know, this one thing I really love about Stranded Deep, I just love how beautiful and sunny and blue it is. Oh, I wish you could build a bigger... I, we could build a sailboat, but I wish you could find like an actual sailboat. I think that'd be an amazing addition to the game. But anyway, uh, on our road to finding the end of Stranded Deep and on our way to our first island... Ah, uh, new island! Same as the old island. It looks, uh, very similar. It doesn't look like there's too much crazy stuff and things going on here. Oh, uh, giant crab. All right, we got a problem here. Hold on, we gotta attach that guy. No, 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 I didn't want to do that even a little bit. Quick, 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 giant crab. Attach, attach. Where are you, the attach? Let's go. All right, we have just the kniffy, but we're gonna need something else. What I need right now is a stick. I need a stick before the giant crab sees us. There's a little wee crab. Let's kill that little crab. Suck it, crab. Grab that guy. Grab a little stone. Dude, what is this, like, Crab Island? Suck it, Crab. What are you... Dude, the mad jukes from that guy. All right, there's got to be a stick around here somewhere. A jugga. All right, so we got some a jugga. Are there no... Crap. SPFs are high. No sticks to be found. Let's go inland a little bit here. So what you want to do, the best way to get around the sun is... Get a tree in between you and the sun. That should help you quite a bit. To stay a little bit cool, I think. Hold on, maybe is it not working? Dude, I'm in here. All right, wait, is that it? We're good, we found the perfect spot. All right, so we gotta wait this out. We're gonna need to get a stick. We could probably uh, knock down one of these ficus right here. Let's grab this guy really fast. Is that still working for SPFs? Nope, it's going down, of course, since we're in the shade. Come on, ficus tree. I believe in you. All right, that guy, give me that guy. Nice, so now, Zerp spear. All right, feels good team. We got a spear. All right, we are not gaining any SPFs. All right, hold on a second here. Maybe we got to find a better spot. SPFs, is that it right there? Are we good? I'm in between the sun with a tree. Dude, here's, check this out, ready? Right here, watch. There we are, we're good. Now with slightly more SPFs and an unbelievably bug giant spear, Slip Gator begins, begins to hunt the giant crab. Let's go! You want some of this, giant crab? Oh, am I getting you? Okay. Yeah, that's right. You're terrified of me. Ah, turn around, dude. The... Oh, he's getting me. Whoa. Well, that one didn't hurt too bad. Holy crap, though, man. That guy actually hurt. All right, let's pop over here like so. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, God, I thought we lost our raft. Dude, there's another giant crab over there, too. For a second there, I was terrified. I could have swore we lost the raft. All right, let's start gathering up some stuff and things. Let's grab that guy right there. Let's use this little deal over here to start putting things down. There's some stones. We'll put a plant right there. We got some aloe right over there. We got a little bit of hot crab meat action. Maybe we'll squirt that over there. Dude, more rocks, more scraps, more corrugated. You know the deal, man. There's just going to be a ton of stuff on this island that we're going to be able to grab up. Uh, we got some sticks right here. Maybe we'll squirt those guys right in this area. Well, one stick. Another one of these guys. Dude, this is going to be hell of a thing right here. Over here. Uh, a little bit of lashings, which is amazing. But the main thing we're here for are the stones. All right, there's our spear. There's another stone. How much uh, durability? 71% right there. And then, did I see? Nah, we're good. All right, so we got another crab to kill. Attack of the killer crab. You think you got what it takes? Yeah, you better run. You stupid. Oh, he's turning. Uh. Ow, dude. The reach on these guys is crazy. Oh, he's stuck. Stupid. Yeah. Smarter than a crab. Whoa. Dude, it almost went exactly where it needs to go. Smarter than a crab. Let's grab this guy. Squirt him over here. And then what time is it? 1600. So four o'clock. Uh, do we need to put a save point over here? I don't feel like we really do. All right. So the island's looking pretty clean. Looking pretty good now. Uh, I don't think we see any other large crabs, so I think the order of business is just going to be to kind of go around here and gather up a bunch of stuff and things so we can bring it all back to our base place. 
Ah, good morning, and we are back. What time is it? Four o'clock in the morning? Man, oh man. I need some breakfast, man. We're still on our uh, new island, the other island that we went to. How's our food doing? Yeah, you know what? We could eat a little bit of coconut flesh. Why not? Let's go ahead and pop this guy in half. So I made a new knife over here. Whoa, where'd you go, flesh? Uh, made a new knife. Got that guy going. Got a tree cut down. Got a bunch of stuff and things uh, all gathered up around here in this area. But the only thing we really have to do now, uh, I think, is grab this guy right here. We have to check out this wreck and see if there's anything unbelievable and amazing that we're going to find. I don't think there are any other wrecks around here. Now, this guy is, well, first of all, it's really dark. Hopefully, we don't get poisoned. Can't really see. Can't really see underwater. No idea if we're about to get poisoned or not. Okay, here we go. We're a little bit low on stamina. It's going to be really hard to see at night. Uh, well, actually, it, it is morning, but still. It's going to be very difficult to see what we got going on. It's so, as soon as I figure out what kind of wreck this is... Dude, that moon looks weird. As soon as I figure out what kind of wreck this is, that should help me in navigating it a little bit better. Dude, it is so hard to see right now. All right, there's the bow, I think. Dude, I can't see a damn thing. Holy crap. I mean, it would be like this, right? If you were actually underwater, like at night. Uh, I have a sneaky suspicion. We're going to have some hot shark action here pretty soon. I hear him. Ooh, dude, we got to get out of here. Ooh, no. You know what I could have done? I could have brought my raft out, but I don't know if I could have anchored it here. I really don't want to get bitten by a shark. It's not that big of a deal if he just takes a nibble, but if he actually bites us. Oh, that was a close one. If he actually bites us and we get, start bleeding, it'll be really, really bad. So we don't want that to happen. Uh, geez, Louise. I don't know if that's something we really need to explore right now. It might just be safer to head back to base. You know why? We could grab that. We could get some stuff. We might get a couple of crates or whatever. But at the most, probably we'll get stuff we've already got. We'll only get maybe like two crates out of it. And then if we bleed or have a problem like that, that would really be a big deal. So what I think we're going to do is do this. We're going to go ahead and skin this crab here. We're going to skin these two large crabs just to get the meat off of these guys. Then it should last long enough for me to be able to head back to base and start working on a smoker. So getting a smoker up and running is going to allow us to make meat that lasts way, way longer. So that'll be really, really good. Now, there's those two guys. Now, inside of here, those guys, those guys. So what I'm thinking we're going to do here is go over in this area right here. I'm going to take you... I'm going to drop it, and I'm going to take this guy and drop that. I don't need this spear either, like so. All right, let's grab this corrugated stuff and that guy right there. These guys are actually kind of important. Well, the planks especially. So let's go ahead and put our plank and those three and that guy inside of there. Let's go ahead and put all that meat right there in that guy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so then we can go ahead and drop in all those stones. Take that and that. All right, all these stones need to come back. Three, four, one, two, three. One lashing, Ugh, that little crab meat I don't need. I'll need this guy, I'll need that guy, I'll need the pippy, I think. Let me see how much space I got. I got a couple more, a little bit more space. Maybe we just bring the one lashing, and then maybe these guys right here. That should be a good amount. Oh, you know what else, actually? I think we have storage on the raft. Oh, dude, I never cleaned it out. All right, so sweet. So we got everything that we need. Uh, I pointed that save structure straight back to our island, so we know which way we have to go. Let's go ahead and get a raft back in the water, perhaps, one day. Raft back in the water. Come on, homie. You and me. I believe in us. We can do this together. All right. Let me see. Can I climb in? And then I think if we grab this from this area. Oh, do we have enough space? Crap on a cracker. We got to leave one thing. I think we're going to leave this plant. Let's drop that guy. Drop that guy. And then pick that guy up. So, all right. Let's go back to our raft. Grab this. Operate. Oh, wait, what? Stop riding. There, now operate. There we go. All right, we got to turn and head do this way. Uh, home sweet home. Feels good to be back. You know, one of the things I don't want to do any more of here, and this is going to make this, this a little bit harder, is I really don't want to put any more or take any more trees off the island here. Uh, it's gonna start to look really barren and I kind of like that. It has a few palm trees. Oh good. We got yucca back nice Let's go ahead and grab these guys. We're gonna need a lot of lashings because I think what I want to do too Obviously, uh, is go ahead and start working on making a new raft too. I think we're gonna need another raft or a bigger one 
uh, and probably start getting it going with a sail. Uh, we're going to need a sail and a rudder in order to do that. So it's going to be a lot of lashings. Um, we could get into the motor. I could probably build it with the parts that I have now, but I'll never be able to give it power because I need potatoes and I have yet to find any. So until we find potatoes and can set up crop plots and start the biofuel deal and all of that in order to make the fuel that we're going to need, we're going to have to work, uh, rely on the sail and the rudder in order to get us around around here. I have not seen any yet. I didn't see any potatoes in the other island, but I didn't look super duper closely either. So hold on. Let's go ahead and make some lashings with all that stuff we just found. Uh, uh, yeah, drop it right there. Drop it right there. Can't do any more. All right, sweet. So let's take these guys. And then let's go ahead and empty out these new crates that we got. Now, we can build crate storage, and we will eventually, so we can go ahead and start getting stuff a little bit more organized. But big time right here, sexy rocks, baby. That's what I'm talking about. The key to the universe. Can't do anything without tools. And we can't build tools without rocks. Uh, that guy, we got a little bit of pippy over here in case we needed another antidote. And that's looking pretty clear. All right, what did we put inside of these guys again? Let me see here some of that meat oh yeah more rocks and then we want to get the smoker going too all right sweet so let's go ahead and grab this guy now we've got to do this pretty quickly and it's going to take some rocks so let's pop that guy down let's go over here and then what i need to do is go like this i need the fire pit right there and then i need to get uh that guy up and running so what are we going to need one blue tarp i got you one la hashing i'm all over it three sticks Remember when I just said I didn't want to deforest the island anymore? <laughs> uh, I had to, man. I had to. All right. Let's go ahead now and make the smoker right here. And I think we can rotate this. We want it to maybe face in that early direction like that. Sweet. Let's grab our kindling. Let's go like so. Let's go ahead and make our fire. Like that. We'll throw that guy down and these guys right here. One, two, three, four, four. Nice, and then I can fit one more on there, so we might as well skin a little crab. I think, actually, I might be able to fit five. I don't remember. Hold on. Let's take a look here. No, looks like... Yeah. No, yeah, that is five. All right, so we got five on there. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and squirt our rocks over here. Our coconut right there. Uh, we got one more shtick that can go over here. And, uh, yeah, 21% left on that guy, 72% on this knife. So we could probably harvest this guy up right here. Uh, let me take a look at our food and water. Water's a little bit low. Feels good, team. One more. Very, very nice. We can grab some fronds and squirt them in there. Dude, this island is coming along quite nicely. All right, just about noontime. Time for some lunch. Cooked small crab meat. Now, it doesn't say smoked, which is odd. It just says cooked. Go ahead and eat that guy. Mmm, delicious. SPFs are a little low, but the camp's looking pretty good. Fairly well organized. All right, and the next thing I want to do is go ahead and do this. Whoa, no, whoa, whoa, a lot of things going on. All right, 13% uh, tool durability. So what I got to do is make one of these guys, and then now I can make the refined axe. Bam! Refined axe, 100% durability. So we got our kind of ghetto house. We got some more crates. We got our smoker up and running. We got some more sticks. We got some more stones. We explored one island. I think this island's the one we're going to go to, but in the next episode, I do believe it's going to be time to get... Um, yeah, uh, our raft going. We need a better raft. I don't want to use this emergency raft anymore. I want to use a better one. So, yeah, food good, water good, st uh, storage good. Yeah, everything's good. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you want to see more, come check us out. Twitch.tv slash Slipgator, Monday through Friday. We're streaming from 5 p.m. till 9 p.m. I would love to see you there. Shouts to everybody who supports the channel on Patreon. Thank you so, so much for your support in these trying times right now with all of the things that are going on. Um, you guys' support really, really means a lot. Thank you guys so much. And may the stuff and things be with you!